What's good, family? Man, let me get right into this. Where two or three are gathered. Gots to be one of the most quoted, quoted passages of scripture. And it is always, always, always quoted out of context. That text is not talking about church attendance it's not talking about church attendance it's not a text that you use to excuse you going to church so on this page on this channel we let the bible preach and teach god's people so let's go to the passage so this is matthew chapter 18 and we're going to read um, verses 15 through 18. We may go to 20. We may go to 20. But, yeah, we may go to 20. But we're going to start at 15. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. Verse 16, but if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and tax collector. Verse 18, truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among you. Now, this text is not about church attendance. As everyone loved to quote so many. I got so many, so many, so many, so many comments on YouTube, comments on Facebook, comments on TikTok. Of people are saying the church is not the building it's the people God says where two or three are gathered in my name but guess what the two or three that are gathered that agree on a thing is in the context of the church talking about church discipline so let's say look at first 16 right but if the he doesn't listen. The offender doesn't listen. The text says, take two others along with you. Two faithful brothers or sisters in Christ. Take two of them with you, the text says. That every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen, tell it to the church, the assembly. Ecclesia, the Greek word. The called out ones. It says, tell it to the church. And if he refused to listen to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile or a tax collector. And a tax collector. Truly, I say to you, whatever you bind, that Greek word right there is forbid. Dale, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose, permit, that Greek word is permit, loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about, a, about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. That two or three, that two or three, it's in the context of the church, the assembly. 
This is not about church attendance. That everyone loves to quote, everyone loves to throw out there. That two or three that are gathered, <laughs> that are agreeing on the thing, if two of you agree on earth, <laughs> verse 16, <laughs> Uh, because of the brother or the sister didn't want to listen, one or two brothers, right? Why does it say take one or two? Because the offendee is the one, the one that got sinned against, that's the third person. This text is not talking about church atten attendance, people. This right here, this passage of scripture it's quoted just like the judge not. It's always out of context. This is church discipline. If, a, if someone sins against you, go tell them in private. You tell them it's fault. You, so the whole goal here is to win the brother. Not to win the argument, but to win the brother or sister. If they don't listen, take two or three. Because down here, the two of you, that two or three, <laughs> that one, two... The offender, take, he said, but if he does not listen, take one or two with him. It's context, people. It's not about church attendance. It's not about church attendance. This is not a text that you use to excuse you not going to church, assembling with other believers. So as you can see, that passage of scripture is in, is in the context of church discipline. Dealing with a brother or sister that refuses to repent. It is not a text to excuse you from assembling with the other brethren. It is not a text that says that as long as two or three believers are in the midst. That, that's not about church attendance. So could we use scripture in context? Could we keep scripture in its proper context? I guarantee you, I know there's going to be somebody or some people that still want to use that passage of scripture to excuse themselves or to justify why they don't go to church. But on this page, like I said before, we let the Bible preach and teach God's people. And regardless of how anyone feels, what anyone says, that passage of scripture belongs in its proper context. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Grace and peace. Before you go, go ahead and subscribe yeah. to my channel. Hit the bell icon so you get all the new notifications. Grace and peace.